I don't even know how to start this video. I'm gonna show y'all a little clip. Hi, Sean, my TikTok my boyfriend. So as y'all can tell, I'll be talking to my baby daddy today. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new YouTube... Ooh, bitch, I'm a little bit too close. Okay. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. So today, I'm gonna be on Zoom with Bertram, Kevin Chamberlain, aka Bertram from Jesse. Y'all know me. If y'all see my videos, insert clip. I can't be too stylish. I have to be comfortable. He might marry me. He might pop the question. Let's start this up. Is this too much? If I if I wear yeah, yeah, this is this is honestly this. No, no, that's that's too much. That's, why am I doing this? Like I'm I got a man. But I love this man, so I'm about to get ready. Okay. Okay, yes. This is this is very much like classic. Okay. Get ready. I mean, it's not like he's gonna be able to smell my breath, but you know, <laughs> lotion because I ain't trying to be ashy. Okay, so the meeting is gonna be starting soon, so I'm gonna go set up everything. Um, wish me luck because I'm kind of scared. All right, guys, so we got a special guest here on our Zoom call. Um, if you want to come out, you can come out now. It's Bella. <laughs> Hi, Sean, my TikTok boyfriend. <laughs> this, is my, this is my AKA baby daddy. Y'all already know what it is. I was so nervous, but now I feel so comfortable. Like, it just... Oh, good. I feel comfortable, too. I was a little nervous, too. You were nervous? Yeah. You know, I'm nervous. Okay. Well, I have to live up to you. You've been, you've been crushing on me for so long. But... <laughs> Yeah, you guys are so sweet together. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We've been together for uh, three years now, so. Well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll send you some, some some good marriage vo vo mojo vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Michael used to be an actor, and now he's a, writer, a television writer. Oh, wow. And he, he actually just sold a, a, a pilot to Sterling K. Brown. Really? From This Is Us. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so I'm freaking out right now. Can you please say your famous catch line from Jesse? <clears throat> oh, Tyshawn, I'd come visit you, but it's so far. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So basically, don't ask me how this happened, guys. Y'all know I've had this like insane crush on Bertram. I'm gonna ask him just like a bunch of like random questions. We're just gonna find out a lot about him. Cause if, if I'm gonna marry this man one day, even though y'all know, <laughs> I'm already getting married to my man, but this is just a secret crush. <laughs> it's, but, a, it's, um, it's in the yeah. other dimension. It's in, in another dimension, yeah, in another right. Dimension. It's in another dimension. How did you find out about my videos? Did anybody um, tell you? Yes. So. Uh, my, a friend of mine named Jay, his daughter, whose name is Joni, mm -hmm. sent, sent, said, oh my gosh, this guy who I follow is obsessed with Kevin, uh, with your friend Kevin. And mm -hmm. so my friend Jay sent it to me. And I didn't realize how far back it went. Because, um, far it, back. <laughs> really far back. Oh and I was laughing hysterically. And then I just... You know, I just went down the rabbit hole of, of watching all your videos, laughing about my favorites were the the ones of when you show some hot guy's chest and then you're like, what was this tattoo? What was this tattoo? <laughs> what was it? But but she showed me that and and I was hooked and, and I actually sent you uh, a message uh, yeah. on, on Instagram yeah. and I was very flattered and and I was thinking about getting on TikTok and you were the inspiration for me to start uh, a TikTok I know. Uh, um, account and look what happened. I know, I was so surprised when you like reached out and you were like, hey, like I'm thinking about making a TikTok. What are you thinking? Give me some advice. And I was like, 
he's asking me for advice. Like I was just like, oh my God, I can't, I can't. I'm literally like seeing so many videos. Like even before I started my whole like, you know, crush on you, making my videos about it and stuff. There's been like so many videos about you and just like trends and just like all this like crazy stuff. So you've been on TikTok for a minute and you didn't even know. I didn't even know. I typed in hashtag Bertram and it's something like 80 million. Um, I, I, I don't, I have no explanation. I don't understand it. I'm, I'm a, a, a lazy butler played by a 57 year old chubby bald guy. Iconic. <laughs> Iconic. Iconic. But I have been in the business a long time. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm an old Broadway hack. And, um, and so to have this and a whole new audience mm -hmm. is really exciting for me. Okay, so this question I want you to be 100% honest with me. When you saw my videos for the first time, how did you like, how did you like feel about them? Were you just like- Oh my God, I was so flattered. I was so flattered. And I was sort of, the British have this word gobsmacked. You ever heard that word? Uh, it's no, great. Do they have our British word? Oh, it. I was gobsmacked. It was, <laughs> it's, it's like, you were just blown away by it. I just didn't realize that um, I had that far reach. I thought my audience was, you know, little girls, eight to 16. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't. <laughs> me, when you posted, when you posted your Biden picture, I remember I posted on my Instagram story and I, I made a TikTok about it. And literally like so many people, like a lot of my friends was going in and you had your followers and just like everybody was just going, literally everyone loves you. That's crazy. crazy. All ages. Well, there was, there was a lot of nasty um, Trumpers that were- Oh, we don't care about posted that. me, no. No, that, and that was the first time that I'd ever gotten like, oh, I'm seeing the other side because I do live in a bubble out here in Los Angeles. Yeah. But uh, I was very proud I, I worked hard for that campaign and trust me, um, so I had my little yard sign. I was so, oh my God, honestly, you don't understand. Like I'm all jokes aside, like being hundred percent serious. When I saw that, that picture, you already know, like I, I genuinely, I love you so much. Like I like, I look up to you and just like, I love all your work and stuff. So when I saw that, I was just like, wow. Like, I love that he's out there. He's like, he has his sign. He's posting about it. He's not scared to post about it. I don't understand how people sometimes will go, oh, celebrities, they should they should keep their mouths shut and just act and not be political. And yeah. I'm like, um, we're also Americans. We're also human beings. Right. We're not like these people that live in the ether. You know, we have our beliefs and our passions. And, and so, uh, and especially this year, it was very important to me. I really honestly just like you're everything that you do you don't understand you have like a big impact on people like they see your stuff and they're just like just seeing you being out there and just supporting and just anything you even, even with your work that you're doing now like with prom and it having like you know the stories about LGBT couples and just all that like that's really amazing like that's honestly just like really amazing wow that means a lot to me and and reading everyone's comments and all the love I'm getting. It's helped me get through this crazy time we're living through. It really is. And I was gonna say there better be no negative comment under my baby daddy's uh, TikTok. I haven't seen stuff. one. I haven't seen not. one. None of my TikTok. I, I was really, I'm just- uh, Don't, wait, were you expecting I'm, to get on TikTok and people were gonna be mad or something? Oh, there's always bullies, you know, there's oh, always- Oh, uh-uh, not on Twitter. we love you. No, no, not, I haven't experienced any and I have, Wonderful, wonderful followers. I, I adore them all. Did you have any like, just like really like one of the best memories that you remember from Jesse? Like, do you have- Well, like one of the best memories was when our first lady, um, the, the greatest first lady we've ever had, Michelle Obama came on um, and did, it was an episode about um, uh, uh, military families mm -hmm. and how difficult it is when when uh, a parent is away, uh, you know, overseas. And, and um, she, you know, we had the whole secret service uh, come and, and lock down the soundstage. Did y'all feel important? Did y'all feel like- like? Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. And then we're standing there backstage and she walks in 
And she immediately, I'm sitting, I'm standing there for, for I'm the first one to greet her. Mm -hmm. And I go to shake her hand and she puts her arms out and goes, Bertram, and hugs me. And she smelled like a cross between the most expensive <laughs> perfume you've ever smelled. And just, she was exuding this, it smelled a little, it gave me Christmas tummy is what I call it. <laughs> it would have been because it's time to smell it and touch it, Michelle Obama even like hugging her. Yeah, it's like and fresh like, baked cookies. <laughs> I know a lot of people um, know, wait, they, they didn't know, but now they know because you like show it in your TikTok that you can like, you have a voice, like you actually like. You I know, I'm three time Tony nominee. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I was telling my boyfriend, I, I, I really want to see the movie because when I saw that you were in it, I was, I was like freaking out because I- actually, In the movie of uh, The no, Prom? Yeah, the yeah. The Prom that's coming out? Oh yeah, 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 The Prom's coming out. I, I really want to see, I really want to see that. I was telling yeah. my boyfriend, like we have movie nights and I was like, I want that to be like one of the movies because I really- Yeah, it, it. it drops on Netflix on the 11th. This is going to be a hard question to ask because I feel like you're going to be like, I, I can't choose. But like, do you feel like on the, like when you were on Justin and stuff, do you feel like you had like a favorite cast member that you like, like not like, not like one person that you like love very much, but love very much. Do you have one person that you would like? Well, I I'm, love, I'm I do, I do love Debbie Ryan because she really led the cast, you know? I love um, her. She was amazing. But, um, you know, I mean, Cameron was just incredibly special and mm -hmm. anyone that you uh, talk to, whoever worked with him. Um, I'm sorry. You know, um, we all miss him. We love we, him. We all miss him so much. I, I honestly, you know, obviously I know that, you know, I don't know him personally, but just like seeing all the stuff that he did on social media and just like his work, his like, everything about him I love trust me I kept up with Cameron he was like one of my biggest like yeah. loved him so much so he was I, such a good soul he was an old soul you ever meet someone who just you could tell they're just an old soul and he was so far beyond his years so funny even at nine years old when I first I mean I knew him I mean you know I, I watched him grow up and he just became such a beautiful man and really beautiful soul and this foundation that his folks created is so, they're making so much money and so much headway to find a cure for epilepsy. And, and um, it also sends money to other charities like the Thirst Project uh, for bringing uh, water to third world countries. Um, and, and Actors Fund, they've donated to the Actors Fund. So it's really, his legacy will live on, but... Um, we like all miss him terribly. His mom was just here on Sunday. I'm happy you brought up just like, you know, the foundation that you have. Because I remember that was the first things that we really like, you know, talked about. Can you like, you know, give us like, because um, I'm definitely going to put in the links where, where people can go and just like, yeah, people can still donate and all that stuff to the foundation and stuff. So can you just give us like a little like information about it? Yes. Well, if you go to uh, the Cameron Boyce Foundation .com, it'll give you a whole um, list of the of the, the the charities that they give to because um, it's a foundation and then they decide, you know, who, who needs money at this point. But epilepsy is the uh, Cameron passed away from something called SUDEP, which is sudden death uh, by epileptic seizure. Mm -hmm. And um, so many kids uh, die every day from it. And it's still a very mysterious neurological disease. And they have medication, but sometimes, you know, and Cameron was on medication and sometimes it doesn't work and they don't know, they're trying to figure out why this is happening. And um, so it goes to research, it goes to helping families who've lost kids and um, uh, it's a wonderful cause, it really is. So thecameronvoicefoundation.com. Yes. And there's a link in my bio and I'm selling a t-shirt and all the proceeds go to the Cameron Boyce Foundation. It's on my Instagram uh, link. And it's, it's says, my link too, guys. So make sure yay. It says, um, I'd come visit you, but it's so far. <laughs> so what was your favorite episode of Jesse?
my favorite. Oh, oh, you gonna do me like that? My favorite. Okay, wait. Okay, my favorite episode of Jesse is the one. Um, I think it was like the fourth episode where she had the guitar and she was like, no, no, no. I can't remember the song. Oh, like, like all I my can't... exes live in Texas or what? Oh yeah, all something? my exes. Yeah, it's that. That's another song. But it, it was a. Uh... It was something about, yeah, Texas. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I can't remember. But we did a little mu- movie, a music video, mm-hmm. and I had to dance with Mrs. Kipling. And that lizard, that freaking lizard! Oh my god, it's so scary. See, you know, when the kids were around the lizard, mm-hmm. they wore metal braces on their legs. Mm-hmm. It was it was a, a union rule that because that, that lizard has two thousand teeth. They're like tiny, tiny teeth. When I was around, they were like, oh, Kevin's fine. <laughs> I, like, I, want metal, I want metal braces. Um, wait, also, I forgot to ask, is there any like um, memories or anything from Jesse that you want to show um, my followers or anything or? To show them? Mm-hmm. Um, well, I can show that picture of, of uh, Wait, they don't know, they don't know. That's why I was, I was kind of asked, so you yeah. know. The flight. Oh wow! Um, so there, there That's it is. Insane. And the, and That's, there's a little message she had. Um, yes, yeah, she wrote me a message. Oh, 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 so cute. Oh, and she gave me a big hug. And here's here's a, a poster from Susical show I did on Broadway. Wow. And, and Dirty Blonde, which is. Uh, a, a play about Mae West that I did. This is my collection of Kiwi memorabilia. Oh my God. <laughs> I was trying to think of any fun, you were saying what like memories I had from Jesse and one of my favorite episodes is the one where Cameron and I are trying to kill the spider in mm-hmm. the kitchen. I remember that episode. That was really fun. And I was standing on the kitchen counter and I had to faint and fall off. And they had this crash pad. It's like a bunch of mattresses. Mm-hmm. And I fainted and I missed the crash pad and rolled into the oven. Oh my. And I almost knocked myself out. My yeah. And Cameron ran over and just was like standing over me laughing hysterically. And I'm like, my head. <laughs> we, oh, it was so funny. We, we had such a f- fun time. Whenever we had scenes together, we would have a blast and um the panic room episode is one of my favorites mm-hmm. where you find out that luke is a secret accordion player yeah. <laughs> i thought that was the funniest yeah. and i love the halloween episode hey you want to say bye before we go oh my goodness. can i wait is, is your husband around i want to say bye to him before he um he went up. michael yeah oh he went to say hi, goodbye <laughs> I'm in Spanish. A chicken. Right. We're just <laughs> we just wanted to say bye. Oh, my voice is cracking. He's excited. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Okay. I just want to say it was really nice meeting you guys. All right. <laughs> bye, guys. I was I cook a lot and I burned my arm. Would you would you, would you, oh. you you're a cook? I'm a cook. What'd you be cooking? Tyshawn, tonight I'm spatch cooking a chicken. Mm. Have you ever spatchcocked a chicken? It sound I, dirty. I've never even heard Doesn't of that. Sound dirty? <laughs> it's you cut out the spine and you kind of butterfly it so it's flat, mm-hmm. and it cooks like in half the time. And so you're, you're I, cooking it okay. on top of bread. Oh. Look, you gonna have to cook me something in melon or something. Because mm. now oh. I'm gonna try it. I'm good. You like uh, clams? You like seafood? I love clams. I love seafood. Oh, I make a linguine with clams. Oh, it's so good.